Hey, this is B from Kong's Arrest, and look who I'm here with. What's up, man? Clean like a mother, yeah, 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 to die for. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> what is this, man? This is a very clean Terminator 2 Judgment Day cabinet that we got here. I'm visiting my man, Bobby Vu, and he has one of the cleanest Terminator 2 cabinets that I've seen at a home condition. Did you buy it like this? Did you do yeah, I bought it like this. No, I yeah? haven't touched anything yet. I okay. I, I, the only thing I did is just uh, adjust the screen. Mm hmm uh huge shout out to my boy chris he helped mm -hmm. me out to uh to adjust the screen and the color and collaborate the gun that's about it that everything's fully functional yeah so what i was really excited about because when i put together my terminator 2 uh i was really curious about how the guns work so today we're gonna open up the real t2 guns check out the inside so uh my man Bobby boo said we can do yeah. some live modding today let's go but uh man you have so many things in your garage and in your house i know this is a little sneak peek you got we'll anything you exciting later. we'll get into it later yeah, no, no, we'll okay do that. We'll, we'll all right here's, here's all right. my as you guys were wondering, what's after uh, Donkey Kong? What's mm -hmm. next? Well, this is going to be my next restoration. Yep. Here, shout out to my boy Chris. He hooked me up. We did a fair trade. This is a Neo Geo 25 original. So I'm going to keep it original. It's a pretty easy fix to sand it down, repaint. Mm -hmm. The monitor is super crisp, very clear. And next, my next project will be the Donkey Kong Jr. over there. It should be an easy project. And then the Mario, and then my big blue right here. The big blue, I can't wait to to restore that. And then I have my big red um, Dynamo can with the Z back. With the Mortal Kombat marquee. Yeah, with the, with the <laughs> Look at that. Mortal gonna, Kombat yeah. 2 with the basic six player I, button. I, I picked this up probably like, like hundred bucks. Good. I can't remember. It's just a show. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby's doing some, you know, look at the three quarter scale arcade machines next to the big guys. Bobby is starting to restore some stuff. He has an awesome Donkey Kong happening in the background, which we'll get to. Console fanboy saying, saying, Bobby, you are a legend. Say what's up to console fanboy. What's up, fan console boy. fan boy? All right, so, so hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh let's open this up. I'm gonna give this to, yeah. to Bobby real fast. Yeah, it so is. Here we are. We're gonna check out the insides of the T2 guns. So the original RK one up guns that I saw, uh the shaking of the actual gun, the the count the um, solenoids, it really felt like you know something was just spinning on the inside. There was no vibration to everything. So we took out these security screw bolts from here. So we're gonna slightly just open this up for the first time. And uh, here it is. Wow. Okay, so check out this inside of the gun. So it, it's pretty simplistic. You have a simple PCB that's doing some LEDs. So we might need to check and replace. You said this green LED is not working, right? It was working, yeah. I it saw was? it working. It just needs to be adjusted to okay. the center. But look how heavy the solenoid, the entire gun Ooh, shaft, wow. essentially is a recoil solenoid that's firing back and then pretty much shaking the entire gun. Now, this is heavy freaking duty. Obviously, this is a mounted a gun that is going down to the base. This isn't your typical light gun. This is your switch on the inside, but everything here is hollow up the front. There's just one button. We need side. that. That's and what this we is need. This is a giant oh ass God. solenoid that's really shaking the entire thing. So I'm going to just like do some gameplay and press the button so that we can see the solenoid in action. I think this is what I was most uh, curious about. This is All right, so here we go. We have the game on. I'm going to hit the trigger button. Oh my goodness. See that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. oh, yeah, so that's, that's a hella good vibrator for you, ladies. <laughs> I went in, never mind. <laughs> yeah, and so the shaft is actually connected to the solenoid. And so, this I was really curious about the implementation of a real um TQ gun compared to the arcade one up one, which uh, they have a solenoid kind of in this front section right here, and or it's actually in the same back area, but it's pretty much just like this spinning plastic thing that just oh, goes shoot. around in a circle and it almost feels like never take i was telling bobby if it looks like um like when you're on a bike and you put like a little yeah. plastic card and it's like a spoke wheel that's kind of what it is but this is really cool check it out this takes the entire whole um thing it slows down a little bit too um, i've never seen the inside of a t2 gun so this is really exciting to me the trigger uh, is using another micro small uh, micro switch here, so nothing really crazy about this micro switch. Everything else is like pretty pretty simple. This is another button on the side for that. So it's just two buttons and then a giant thing. And plus this LED. This LED I actually don't even know like what function they do besides yeah. maybe letting you know if you got damage or something. But the, it lights up a little bit, so you might have to replace the green LED. Yeah. But other than that, let me check this out. Big ass solenoid and firing back and forth. You can't replace the shaking that this does. It's yeah. really badass. So, if you've never seen the inside of a T2 gun working, this 
is exactly what I wanted to see. So thanks, Bobby, for letting us see the inside Woo! guts of the T2. What's the motto number for that? Is it <laughs> it? <laughs> I don't know if this could be put into an RK1 up uh, gun. It's definitely not going to be able to hold it. Really? I don't think so. Yeah, it's uh, it should, right? Uh, yeah, not running off of the like the, the five volt USB. Like, this is definitely a high powered solenoid. I would say at least Raymond Die, you hear this? Yeah, <laughs> Raymond Die, you watching this? Yeah. Come on, man, or like Raymond a 24 volt solenoid or so. I'd have to open it up and see what it's actually wired to, but this is damn heavy duty. Like, this is badass right here. So, I just wanted to show it off. This is pretty cool. Thank you for showing it off. And that's it. I mean, it's simple to, to put back together. Uh, we'll put it back together. After. Yeah, yeah. Let's get you got the dummy car. Right. Everybody want to see? There it is. As you guys can see, uh, this is the uh, secret project. Uh, it's a cockpit. This is the cockpit here from BB Kong. I'm going to duplicate this, tweak it, Billy make Wright. it better. Be oh, here's shout out to Billy Wright. Yeah. Billy, this is from Billy right here. Billy stuff. And here's, uh, here's also the the rest of the panel right here. That's our project. Yeah, that's uh, another side project I got going on, a future yeah. cockpit. Uh, so somebody was asking, how much was the T2 that you got? I got it for a uh, thousand bucks. Yeah. yeah. All right. So a thousand bucks. To my boy Chris, he helped me pick it up. Yeah. Chris, so... G, you watching? Yeah. <laughs> now that's clean like a mother. So if you want this cabinet once it's restored, Bobby will sell it to you for the low, low price of $5,000. Yeah. So just to let you know, that's yeah. how Bobby Everything really... OG, authentic, nothing <laughs> tweaked, you know, just a little touch up here and there. Yeah. You're ready to roll. All right. There it is. Okay. So we just saw the inside of the T2 gun. So we're going to take a look inside of, uh, you know, Bobby's new place. Yeah. He actually has some projects and oh, things yeah. to work on. Anytime I go to Bobby the, Booth. This is my patio section. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a patio cave. Okay. So I'm a, my plan is... Since Buy Stuff Store came out with the encoder, okay. my plan is to set up a four to six player racing game out here. And this is this this is actually a check it out. Oh yeah, Mar versus Capcom. Uh, cop, uh, cocktail, cocktail table here. Yeah. Right here. This is the patio section. Would you guys do a patio cade? So the only thing I'm worried about, I mean, we do live in Southern California. Uh, check out this amazing high use uh, at Games Legends product there. That's a high quality dust. Wait right a minute, there. Zohar, <laughs> thank you for the gift. Yeah, That's Zohar. that was a gift. <laughs> yeah. That was a gift. Yeah. Hold on, let me make my mark here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's some that's some high quality um some usage right there in the patio cage. So let's make sure. The dust doesn't get there. Somebody uh, was. Oh, so, uh, you guys can check out. Uh, this is my workstation right here. Okay, there this it is. This is where I mod and I restore and everything. This is where I did all my Donkey Kong. I just guys seen the pictures I post up. Mm -hmm. Where, where, how, how I built and restore my Donkey Kong was right here. Yeah. And this is perfect tent right here. This is the outdoor modder shed. He used to do all the modding in his arcade. So uh, indoor. Yeah. It's outdoor now. This is the perfect. I have a little. I even have a little heater right here. Okay. So, you know, it's cold. Stay warm. <laughs> my feet gets cold. Yeah. Right? Freezing in the morning. Yeah. And yeah, here's, here's my main arcade room. All right. Look at all these supplies. Look at all these decks. Look, you guys need a replacement deck? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Boo has it. Okay. All right. So I know this is still a work in progress. So we're not going to take a look inside the whole arcade. I just wanted to show off, uh, you know, Bobby's latest restoration here, which is an amazing... Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Yeah. So I, I think the only thing that needs to be replaced is uh, B Kong or Kong's R Us so that you can yeah. make this for yeah. me. Yeah, B Kong. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you did yeah. a good job on this, man. So what well, did you do to restore it? I hate you, B. He beat my high score. Yes, yes, I you did. You know what's a good thing? Okay. This machine saved his high score. Mm -hmm. No need to buy a little chip adapter mm -hmm. for it to say because this is truly authentic and this is a, a the, the last latest version of the Donkey Kong ever made mm -hmm. for by Nintendo. This is called the Terminate Edition nice. Donkey Kong. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, I've already put my high score on there. You know, walking oh, 11,800 was, uh, you know, the, the new high score. I know that's pennies compared to maybe major Donkey Kong oh, folks. But, uh, I, this on previous, I'm I don't think Bobby Vu is going to beat me anytime. This also has a little counter thing right here. So as you can see, this is so authentic, really authentic, original. From the uh, manufacturer, nothing's tweaked out, nothing's modified. Every I kept it everything original. Uh, the only thing different is just the paint. That's it. So this whole uh, blue paint, you kind of just restored the I, external I, I side. Also, uh, I also restored the the bolts. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice chrome shine. It used to be all rusted. Mm -hmm. I restored all this little little uh, nuts and screws in here, all shine chrome, especially here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All this, all shine up. And I painted the coin door. Now, the only thing that's really bothering me, they used to have the little lock bracket here. Mm-hmm. It's bent the coin door. Now the coin door is bent up here. I see. So that's really bothering me. For one second, I restored the plexiglass. I remember when I used to put my fingernail, it stays there. I can see a little scratch, but I restored it using the, mm-hmm. the, I forgot what it's called. One, two, three, uh, Nova something. Yeah. Novus yeah, yeah. or that's what yeah. I use. Novus, yeah. Yeah. Very so cool. overall, my you. This restaurant only cost me under two hundred dollars. That's what people were asking. How much did you get the whole thing for? I got this for like six hundred bucks. Remember a year yeah, ago? Remember? Okay. Remember a yeah, year yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah. 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 Six hundred bucks. There you go. And then yeah. spent two hundred bucks on the, the decal art was also new too. Yeah. Decal right? I, yes. Decal art. I got it on a uh, SD. Mm-hmm. That guy is very nice. Who whoever wants to uh, link, I'll show you. Mm-hmm. It cost me thirty five bucks for a pair. Oh, damn. Dirt cheap. Really nice. Yeah. I right, show him the back side too. So the backside, I, I made it a Authentic. water resistant. Mm-hmm. I put vinyl here. Mm-hmm. This is water resistant. And I put a key right here, a lock, and you can see everything is original. I put all the this is really cool. manual. I save it. And this will add more value to your Donkey Kong because there's no way you can find this instruction manual anywhere. Especially this one is mint condition. I covered it up with a plastic glass. I used a picture frame. I bought it at uh, Ross for a, a, under a, a dollar. You, you take out the frame and use their plastic glasses to cover it up and that's, that's tape it over so it's dust free. It's yeah. very secure. I've never seen somebody like uh, frame up the instructions, but for a classic like this, I mean, it kind of makes sense. This it thing is adds... 42 years old. Yeah, I know. It makes a lot of sense yes. to, to really keep it clean. And I like how you like cleaned up the backside. Uh, inside, did you have to do any work to the CRT? Everything else is no, pretty clean. No, no, no work. It just t- only just adjustment of the coloring and volume. Okay. Uh, my boy Chris G, he helped me out. Yeah. He was shout out to him. Everything is original. All these the dust. Oh my, it's so 40, thick. Forty-two year old dust right yes. here. Yes. I got all the <laughs> dust. Most of it is only doing a little bit left. Yeah. But I didn't want to touch with the motherboard. Yeah. His, his original motherboard is his Nintendo right there. Okay. Let me. There it let me is. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me put the, the light on so you can show it right there. It's, uh, Truly authentic. So Nova Sonic saying, "Wow, only six hundred bucks for this. Right. Really right. nice." Oh. When that camera right there says Nintendo, you see that? It says Nintendo. Yes, the Nintendo of America, a TGK four thirteen. That CPU. is the real deal. All right, so that's this is a collector's for. edition right here. Mm-hmm. A true authentic collector's. This other Donkey Kong will, won't have this. This kind of model. This is a very unique a collection to add. There it is. Everything. Good job, man. Yeah. So not only does Bobby, uh, you know, do King of Home Arcade modding, he is now restoring full-size cabinets yeah. and doing things, you know too. I'm going to be honest. This yeah. is by far the easiest cap to restore. Can the channel make the cap so easy? Yeah. Because the, the wide is not that wide because it's vertical. But the depth, mm-hmm. the reason why is the depth is so deep because they they do, they need to recess the back. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, the cap is so long. Yeah. So somebody says, did it smell like the 80s in there? Could you uh, smell some uh, arcade pumping? Yeah, I smell a bunch some, of cigarettes. Some new wave music <laughs> playing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so again, just a sneak peek. Bobby's collection is amazing there. He's working on his home arcade there. That's just a little sneak peek. We're not yeah. going to go all the way into there. Mm-hmm. But man, Bobby, good job with this. This is very clean. Yeah, are you, I, are you I, happy I, with this? Oh, I'm more than happy. stay oh in your collection? God. Oh, this is staying. The only time I sell this is someone offered me 10K. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason I can no no that's the reason why I don't want to get rid of it because I charge 10k yeah so people could turn around and make a U turn turn the other way yeah right yep. it's, it's somebody that really wants it 10k is yours all right there it and is it. uh for sale for ten thousand dollars otherwise it's gonna stay in Bobby's collection <laughs> yeah. good job uh, I hope you get better at this game though because you know eleven thousand is not a really high score and uh, you let me know when you beat that because uh, yeah. right now I got the high score on that. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> also, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to show you guys something that right. I deserve. Uh, this thing right here, cigarette burn. Mm-hmm. I, the market, the, the artwork is still intact. Mm-hmm. I cannot save this because mm-hmm. the cigarette burns all cigarette. So I had to buy a new one. And the bun, I could have painted, but it will chip out eventually. So I bought new buns, mm-hmm. authentic from the. Um, from what's it called, Mike? Something yep. Mike. Yep. Mike RK. So he has all the authentic buns. So this is dirt, dirt cheap. Man. I spent everything under 200 bucks. So it's not big of a deal. There it is. All right. Well, that was a really cool treat to see Bobby Blue's arcade. Can't wait to see it all in action. I see a Christmas. giant ass Vulex, right? Yeah. That's- yeah. 
That's, yeah. a, that's a DX fighter. Yeah. Fighting the Vulex. It's, it's, it's a fake Vulex, but it's a bigger version of we'll Vulex. We'll come back and do another live stream when everything's turned on. We can yeah, play it. I yeah. can actually challenge Christmas, Bobby Christmas, Vu Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. In, a, in a game that I can beat him in. You know? We'll see. But I love the modding station. For folks that are just wondering what it takes to be a modder like Bobby Vu, this is just part of the collection of what tools you might need, a dedicated workspace. This is just the tools of the trade to see behind the scenes. You know, you got the Nova scratch cleaner you were talking yeah, about yeah, earlier. Yes, I use that one, two, right? three. Guys, you want to fix your plexiglass scratches? This will do the work. Yeah. I mean, the deep, deep scratch. You can feel it with your nail. Mm -hmm. That's deep. It will fix that. Nice. There it is. <laughs> All of these different panels here uh, from many, show many months. Show this one. Show this one. Show this one. It's so funny. What's that? This what do you got? Tool station right here. Charging tool station. So many tools and yeah. charges. Offer up, guys. Dirt cheap. <laughs> Buy 10 bucks for battery tools. So many different batteries for the yeah. different tools. It's not just one. But yeah, you got all sorts of parts and things up the wazoo. But man, thanks for, for showing off yeah. the place, man. I appreciate it. Let's I'll go. Pieces soon with my yeah. new home, but it's a lot of work. It's busy. Where all your Amazon boxes are from all your uh, Guys, I'm links. not taking any orders until next year, so don't, don't hit me up. No more orders. <laughs> no more <laughs> orders. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for showing up. For those that just showed up right now, we were just showing off the inside of uh, the Terminator 2 Judgment Day guns. This is a real T2 cabinet. Uh, I did a kind of a live stream and another stream just opening up my... The arcade guns and so i was really fascinated with the inside of the t2 gun so again one last time for you guys to see what it looks like this is a working t2 machine great condition bobby let me open this up and look at the heavy duty i think this is a 24 volt coil in here but this is a solenoid that is really shaking the heck out of this entire That's a hell of a good vibrator <laughs> <laughs> he said it this is the real deal not compared to the spinning solenoid that you see inside the arcade one-up version um so I, I just had to see for myself what uh you know what what is missing from the version that i have in my house and it's definitely not this this is amazingly big big ass heavy duty for the inside of a t2 Look at that. Very good. That's the magnet there. We got some LEDs here that don't exist in the arcade one version as well. But other than that, you know, very simple clean inside build. Uh, you know, I was thinking about maybe 3D print this box. Yeah, 3D print <laughs> do a box. box and do make a shaft that connects to the arcade one up and Open still have the camera. And find out how they, how they hook it up and oh, yeah. Well, no, that's I mean, it's, it's a different style gun because the arcade one up has a camera for the actual send in. But yeah, this is just this is pretty damn cool. That's pretty much it. Thank you all for joining this video. Bobby, take us out. Clean like a mother, yeah, 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 to die for Kong R.I. Right, That's good seeing you. Appreciate it. All right, see you guys next time. Happy Friday. Talk to you later.